How's it going, guys? I'm Joel Squid, and welcome back to Amorous Now. And now we are in, 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 in the lobby uh, of his ap <coughs> apartment. Sorry. <laughs> and now we just uh, watch a movie, and it was amazing. Now we are here. Uh, the lobby of the apartment building it was completely empty, and Dustin put it towards the elevator on, on a far wall. After we both got in, our conversation picked back up. I know it sounds good to be home all day, but with my social butterfly brother and my lack of desire to go back to my channel chore list, I've been bored out of my school. I'll bet you grew up for a reason after all. The last thing you want to do is to relive your childhood. Well, the, me the mediocre part of it anyway. The elevator did ding and we walk a few steps out the hall before the motion towards the door. Here's my place. Come on in. Is that Jack's apartment? Or, uh, 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 or, 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 are they using this for representing your date's apartment? Okay, never mind. I, I'm gonna stay with that. <laughs> I want one of those upper floor plans, spacious with big windows. Big windows, I can see that. To look out over the city. Uh, I could, could see the sparkling light of the street and the other building against this nice guy. Could still tell it, it was a swinging bachelor pad. When it's leather couch and lack of a dining room table. But it was certainly comfortable. That is, except for the familiar parrot se sitting in one of the chairs. Ah, oh, that, ah, uh, Violet, what are you doing here? Guess he didn't take you long to, to, to find someone else, huh? You're one to talk, Var. Particularly when you send me a picture of of you getting railed by three other guys. What the hell are you doing breaking into my apartment? First, I didn't break in. I, I still had a key. Second, it's my father's watch I lent you. I need it back. Lent me? Give it to me on our first anniversary. Yeah, eh, 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 I didn't say anything about it, it belonging to your dad. What the fuck, Var? I still need it back. He, he's been looking for it. Eh, eh, and here, my, my hi. Hey, if he thinks I lost it, it's not like you're ever wor wor worried anyway. <sighs> just, just wait right here, Var. I give you damn much, and I, you can take it all, leave my key, and get out. <laughs> Fine. No doubt of my ass. Then you can get back to dealing your little fucked over here, I suppose. Hey, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, you fucking baron! Sorry. That's the same to the bedroom. It's high now, and I need. And it's not so flatty. Flary. This guy's knew all too well of uh, of how to get under his fur. So you're the latest conquest, huh? So you're talking to him at the club. Shall I ignore him? He maybe got some stuff. Really? So on top of cheating, sleeping around, and making a public nuisance of yourself. I can add a spine to to the list. Got a man you too. Probably why he's going that way. He likes people to badmouth me when we're on a break. Wait, what? Wait, what? What's that supposed to mean? He laughed hardly and made a dismissive wave in my direction. You really think this is the first time we fought? Last time I got to throw a vase around. It's a few things up. He's a he's a hot blooded guy. He needs excitement and and nothing. It's a blood. I mean, like a fight. You're kidding me. You provoke him just to make him mad? Sometimes I do it just to spice things up when they're getting too routine. The makeup sex is amazing. For two weeks after all, uh, after our last breakup, we fucked three times a day, every day. You're full of it. Being an emotionally married and his asshole for sex doesn't work. Oh? Did you have some experience with that? Me, I should let Dustin know this is so he can get you out of the way faster. No matter th th though, we always make up and we always get back together. Looks pretty final to me right now. That just show, but but you know, don't worry. He dumb you, but occur when I come back and apologize. He'll give me his house key again. We'll run these shits and you can go back to your desperate little life alone. My hands had come to 
I have fists when Dustin walked back into the room. All right, Var, here's your shit in that watch. Now there's the door. See yourself. You can leave the key. With one last break in my direction, uh, the, the parrot set a key to dramatically on a uh, uh, coffee table and grab his, his box. Have fun, you two. I don't do anything you, uh, I wouldn't do. Sasa slammed the door behind his ex and slammed against it. Sorry about that. That guy is a force of nature. I can't believe we stayed together for so long. Running to Dustin's ex, even if, if it was the first official time, it had been far from a pleasant experience. From Dustin's sagging shoulder, a distant look, I could tell he was well found too. I didn't mean for, for this to happen for a second time. But maybe we should uh, end the night here. Arguing with Var about his bullshit as was always a major mood killer when we were dating. I guess I understand. It's so then the sound stuff are not really easy. And plus, I'm not the kind of guy who just like just keep going on a conversation. I'm, uh, I'm like, if you want to stop there, I understand. Let's stop there. I understand. I'm not gonna be like, oh come on, I want to spend time with you. I'm not gonna be like that. No, 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 no. no. Well, I want to spend time with him. That for sure. But if he, if he needs to, to relax, I understand. It's complicated when you've been with someone for so long. If they, even they turn out to be a jerk. See it happen to my brother. Thanks again. I don't like it any better than you, but just talking about it is exhausting. I can go. Doesn't work for the living room. Through the doorway where I was. Gathering me uh, with his arm and pressing it, slipped to my in a tender kiss. <gasps> <laughs> How you believe me when I say this is the last thing I want to I wanted to have happen. I had a great time tonight and I want to see you again. I want to see you too. Let's just end, end on this and we'll save up for the next time. I'm just glad you said there's going to be a next time. Of course. I'm not a single day kind of guy. We kissed once more in the embrace. So really tangly he released me. Somehow the goodbyes were still awkward. And I found myself more than a little empty headed. Even I closed the door behind me. Maybe it's just jading jitters or... Or maybe Varus' little chat with me had more of an impact than I'd like to admit. Either way, better to support him through through this. He'll deal with Var on his own term and it, it comes out better for it. In the meantime, I consider what I was going to do with the rest of my evening. Oh, no one was home when I got there. Kobe was likely staying out part partying it up. Which meant I was free to do anything that I want. So, oh! That was a short date, okay? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we did our first date with, with Dustin. That was short. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna save, I gotta save. Because last time, I had, because last time... Wait. Okay, this is Jax. Okay, the first one, the first slot is Jack. The, f the second slot is, no. Wait. Ah! There we go! Third slide is Dustin! There you go! <laughs> I didn't remember. Okay, so... This is... This is Amoris. And if you want to play that game, there will be a link in the description below. So, our first date... Went pretty well. Well, a little bit, because... Uh, a little bit, because... Um, I gotta say, uh... Far was there. That bitch was there. Anyways, so, uh, uh, well, at least we kissed Dustin. We kissed that handsome lion, which is fucking great. 
So thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, click punch to do a high five the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.